stop. It's here. Yeah, stop. Tell us your name. My name is Charles. Whoa. What? Uh. Within the heart of the American Revolution in Concord, Massachusetts lies a property with a deep history and a mysterious and possibly darker past, Concord's Colonial Inn. Its charm is an appealing facade, but beneath the cover lies stories that don't quite fit in the history books. Built in 1716, this building has stood witness to the birth of a nation, having served as a private residence, a storehouse for arms during the revolution, a hospital during the war, and now operating as an inn. But there are some who believe that not all of the inn's guests have checked in or out. Six o'clock, they... Oh, Open at nine. This is the real Liberty though? Yeah. Where's the crack? I mean like on the bell, not... Welcome to the Concord Colonial Inn. My name's Justin. I've been living here now for a couple minutes. I'd like to introduce you to my bathroom. That's a closet. <laughs> in 1966, an innkeeper at the time received a letter which read in part, I was awakened in the middle of the night by a presence in a room, a feeling that some unknown being was in the midst. As I opened my eyes, I saw a grayish figure at the side of my bed. Like, right there. I wonder who it is, though. We have one name to work with. We're gonna be meeting up with Luke, so we're gonna head downstairs now. Get a rum pod, so... Yeah. What's up? Music box? Oh, put it on the bed, maybe? Wow. Who's here with us? Is there a doctor or someone who worked in medicine here? Can you light the blue light up again? Oh, oh my God. Did you just touch the bed? No. It looked like it was literally just going like this. Dude. Is it you? Stop right now if it was you. Oh my god. Guys, we haven't even set up yet. That's crazy. So I can give you a tour, and then I also do have room 27 open that I can let you guys go into. Okay. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So this one, people also report stuff going on here? Yes. 24 was originally the operating room. The room below the operating room was the morgue. I thought this room was here. The downstairs room fell here. The hallway? Oh, no, the morgue. So that means there's no one underneath us. Is this Peter? Peter? All four of them went up. What? Peter, were you here when this town was established? You were? If you set off the device, we're gonna take that as yes. I mean, this is his operating room. Do we know of any of, like, Timothy's assistants? I don't think we know any names, unfortunately, but... I mean, there's a bunch of names in these pamphlets, but not specific to this room. Tell us your name. The shadow figure from 1966 that that woman wrote a letter about, are they here? I just got an EMF spike to like five. What's good with that AC? It's zero right now. No. The plug under it? No. What about the lamp? No. Flat zero here. Oh, oh, the idiot said something. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big spike on the stuff. <laughs> Our one lead is not turning up. Are you afraid of us? I thought I heard something before that. Just like a syllable. I just heard like a tap in the bathroom. I heard that too. Are you walking around in the bathroom? Is there anyone in the room who's not living? Did you hear that? It's like squeaking wheels almost. Yeah, that almost feels like, like a residual noise. Like lady in the in the hall with a trolley or something? Do you dislike visitors? It's in the hall. What? You guys didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Buddy. Temp and Rem at the same time. It's going crazy. Every time we get a response, it's like one or two, and then it's just done. I need some S's. Welcome to Jack. Doctor, doctor? No, maybe. Captive? Are there any revolutionary captives? August and I. Did you work or live here? When there were fatalities in this room, where did they bring the bodies? Only one of us. How about the arms cache? Look. 
I don't know where it is. I can't look. We know it was in one of the rooms. Everyone has an option. What do you mean? Hush. Are you attached to the building? House. Are you stuck here? It isn't. You just moved his foot away and it went off more. We'll keep talking to you. If you if that's you trying to say you want to keep talking, we're just gonna switch who's talking. See you guys later. Good luck. Alive. Oh my God. That was like an inhuman voice. I heard it. You hear our questions? Down the hall. Are you in room 27? Perfect. Beast. Oh, I hated that. Are you in the morgue? Plenty of them. Plenty of people in the morgue? <laughs> What's the most number of bodies you guys put through the morgue in one day? Try to. That's not quite an answer. It is. You want to be a smart ass? You want us to come to the last? You don't have to. Did you die here? I got chills. Hundred. Are you in the room with us now? Hundred? Wait, did you say how many? I said most were processed in a day. Maybe a hundred in a day. Possible. In the morgue. How many years was this a hospital? Five. Five years. Can we back check them? We can. We can. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> now, close. Are you touching me? Maybe Protestant? Were you Protestant? Dead. Hundred. Hundred again, huh? Eight. Hundred eight. Eight. Lot Thank of you. numbers. What state are we in? One of the biggest. Below. Power back. Are you stuck in the house or can you leave? I don't really know. Have you ever tried to leave? Ah, uh, go to the, um, somebody. Who? Tell me their name. Right here. Are you on Correct. the bed? What the hell? In this. You're in this bed? Can you hear us? Where? Uh, we're in room 24. We used to be the doctor's. Doctor. That was pretty wild. We know the doctor operated in here. I did. Can you make him say hospital? No. A teenager. Are you a teenager? Yes. Will you tell us your name or your age? Have I told you? No, you haven't. Could you tell us? The other. It works. Yeah, we think it works. We're not testing anymore. Will you say your name? No. My name's Luke. Hi. Yo. What the freak was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. That's it. That was like a big bang from like the AC or like somewhere over here. That was insane. I haven't heard that all night. We've been in here a couple, a couple hours now. Was that you that made that sound? Sure. I mean, it's been 15, we can pull them out. I don't think he had any controls, right? Paralyte, we're talking to the spirit that is touching Paralyte. Is there just one of you here? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that, dude? That was a voice. No? Maybe? What? Alright, your turn. What's your name, man? I don't think that's your name. How about you tell us your name? Come out. You come out. No, you. I. Do you want us to come out of the room? Die. I'm going, I'm going home. Can you say one of our names? Stop. A loud scream, and then I heard 10 o'clock. Why are you hanging around here? Okay. Because you can? Forge. Forge Liberty. Liberty, Liberty and Forge. Forge. The Liberty Room? Yes. Thanks. Whoa, cat ball. Guaranteed. Is that you touching that cat ball? First cat ball of the night. That Again? Guy. Yeah. Ruined. You can upset as much as you want. We just want to make sure that was you. Can you do it one more time? Some. Many people. There it is. Wow. Thank you so much. My name is Charles. Whoa. Is that true? Could you touch the ball if your name is Charles? <laughs> no shot. Thank you, Charles. Hello. Hey, Charles. Hi. Same voice. Are you able to see us? Could you touch the other side? Thank you. Same voice. See us from the other side? Holy shit, I have full body chills. Did you live here? Could you touch that ball again if you're attached to this house in some way? Thank you. Charles, did you ever stay here? Um, yeah. Thank you. 
Did you enjoy your time on Earth? Time. Oh my oh, God. The timing of what? You did. What century were you alive, Charles? Do you hear that? I definitely heard a voice say, I don't know if it was outside or not. Was it in the 1800s? 14. Was it 1914? Did you stay here during... Okay. Under. Can we confirm that year, Charles? 1914? I'm having trouble with focus here. Charles, are you the shadow? Are you the shadow figure that people have seen in this room? There was a lady in the 1960s. Interesting. Dark. Dark. Dude. That's kind of crazy. That is absolutely insane. So he must have passed between 1914 and now. Charles, did you pass here on this property? Did you pass between the years of 1914 and 1966? That's confirmation. Play the floor. Play with the ball on the floor, I guess. Yeah, no disguise. Charles, if people have seen you in this house. room, in this house, are you stuck in this room? You are stuck in this room. He didn't die on the property, he said. I'm just trying to piece this all together. Hey, yeah. Charles, are you still here with us, Charles? Wait. Could you touch the ball if you're here, Charles? Hey. Are you spelling something to Luke? Are you talking to Luke? Teamwork. Yeah, I guess it is kind of like teamwork. You tell him, he tells us. What's the next letter, Charles? B S Y. Go outside. I thought you said you couldn't leave this room, though. Uh, return to that. Return to that place downstairs? Yeah. Which place? The hallway or the other room? In the house. They're both in the house, though. One's the hallway downstairs, and then the other one is that room in the back. Which room? We'll go there, but we need to know which room. We're not. Could you touch that cat ball again? If you want us to go to the hallway. What I can do is... What can you do? Do anything. Oh my god, dude. Which spot, Charles? You said go outside. We will, but you need to tell us where. There is a, like a bank. Professionals. Professionals. Wait a second. Downstairs is like the offices. Maybe he's saying go down to the offices? Let's chase that lead. Catball was going off like in response to questions the entire time. Really? Yeah. And you said Charles, right? Dude, that was the weirdest part for me. And then we said, is your name Charles? And the cat ball started going off. Dude, I got the same voice so many times that I just stopped saying that it was the same voice. You were probably under for like a half hour total because it was intelligent really responding. All of a sudden, it just kind of stopped. Now we're in room 27, which used to be the morgue. This does not feel like this is originally intended to be a bathroom, if you catch my drift. I mean, it was a morgue, right? Is this like the freezer? Yikes. I hate it in here. Dude, it feels fucking weird in here. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna sit in here. Did you die in the war? The good news is that we have cameras that are running upstairs, so we'll be able to see if that was upstairs or not. It sounded right there. Was this room used to store the bodies during the war? We both heard that. I heard no. Yeah. Like loud and clear. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? That, I just heard a bell tolling. Right before you said that, the XA40 has face tracking, right? It was tracking another face that went down to your feet and then back and it snapped back to your head. It's midnight, so the bell was just like a church or something nearby. This room feels unlike anything I've I've felt. Heavy was a good way to describe it. Kind of want to get the fuck out of this room. Are you making me feel like this? I have a theory that this room is the entire like energy powerhouse of this fucking place, and because that room is right above it, that's where people have experiences. It would make sense that if so much death and negative sh shit happened in this space and you build a room right above it, like it's bound to be pretty active. It literally feels like there's somebody breathing down my sweatshirt right now. Are you touching my back? I'm like shaking to my neck now. I can like feel it there. I can like feel the static. 
in the air right here. Okay, what? I'm getting up. I feel so much better after not being in that room. We are in the merchant's row. Basically discontinued dining room. We invite anyone here to sit down at the table with us. That chair is making sound like someone just sat in it. Which one? The one right there. People have seen a figure standing in that window. I would shit myself. All the way. Oh. Huh. I heard that. Is that on the window? Are you knocking on the yeah. window? This is like the theater effect in here. There's so many seats in this room. I feel like there could be someone sitting in any one of them. It feels like there's people in here. You see this ball here? Just give it a little bit. Jeer. Almost like a footstep or a chair. Oh. I saw like a little light go. Whew. I can't really replicate that. What? The only moving light is the POS over there that's covered up, and it's very unlikely that's reflecting on anything over here. Behind the camera. Or saw it again. Saw it again. On the chair that time. Weird. It's not the road, so there might be cars driving around. Unlikely, it's but. Weird. I don't know. All right, I just saw like a flash of light over there. Really? Yeah. I heard a noise. If you're over there, could you come over here? We'd love for you to come sit with us, even talk to us if you want. Is the shadow man here? Yeah, see? That's, that's, that's headlights. That's headlights, yeah. The thing that I saw was not like that. It was like a single point. Is Charles here? It's like everywhere, dude. I mean, dude, if you're talking about like a residual whatever, I mean, it was like a bustling. That's what I'm saying. Like, I end. think if there's anything here, I'm. I just don't know if it's intelligent or it just feels like we're just in a busy restaurant, but it's just dead quiet. Except for the periodic kitchen Bang, noise. squeak, chair, light flying across the room. I think it's all just residual. I, I really thought that chair thing was weird, but I don't think they would sit at the table with us and not be not be like trying to communicate. Yeah. Unless we have EVP. It's like residual, but we both think it feels like a full room of people. I can't even describe that. Like, it just feels busy. It feels occupied and it's empty. Yeah. I mean, I if it feels it. occupied and there's like 100, 120 chairs, so that just makes it feel like a busy place. Dude, what is that book? I didn't see that earlier. What? Yeah, I didn't see that there. How do we just see that? We had some weird residual stuff here in the merchant's room. Now we're gonna go downstairs to the offices and see if we can make contact with the apparition of a woman who's been seen in that hallway. floor, I guess, and if it goes off there, we know something's up. Alright. Coming. You're coming? Is this Charles? Charles, I'm gonna ask you yes or no question. So we'll light up the power light, this lantern here, burn it for yes, and just don't light it up for no, okay? Okay, thanks, Charles. You understand? Could you stop for a sec? You found it. Is this where you wanted us to come meet you? It is. Were you talking to me it earlier? Opened. What opened, Charles? Look right. Are you down the hallway? I'm paralyzed. Or are you talking about the paralyte? Yep, that's the paralyte. Yeah. Get it. I can't go in the offices. What? I can't go in the offices, Charles. I don't work here. You pull it. <laughs> the doors? Which door do you want me to go in? Hotel. This is Charles, right? Saw blue light, like right there. Oh, that's there is the bathroom. I can't. You can't what? Is this Charles still? <laughs> me, 10 o'clock. It's later than that. It's probably almost one o'clock. I know. You know. You pull it. Are you trying to get out, Charles? Is that a yes? I see it. I'm gonna move the pickle. Good. Do you like it better where I put it? Yeah. You listen. I'm listening. Help me. How can I help? One more. One more what? 
constant. You're still by the door down the hallway? Free. You want to be let out? Is that what you mean by free? Get to the side. That's right. This way? Exactly. That was like 12 minutes. Red? I didn't hear that the whole time. But that's the second time we heard it, right? Yeah. It sounds like the stalls in this bathroom. That's what I thought. Dude, that originally I thought it was in the bathroom. Someone over there? Hey, Charles. He told us to come down here, so we did. Thanks. Charles, do you know the woman who people have seen in this hallway? I just keep hearing the same lady singing. Whoa. That's the fifth time. Whoa, dude. The woman that's been sitting down here? Are you here with us? Are you the one that we hear opening and closing the stall? No. Is that somebody else? Chicken. Is the lady here? It's right. I just got chills, I don't know why. It was really clear. Who? Three. Is there three entities down here? Charles, the lady who's seen walking down the halls and maybe somebody opening and closing the stalls in the bathroom? Hi, now. Can you make the sound in the bathroom again? Not all the time. Charles, are you still here? It's the same lady singing. If that's the woman, can you set off the paralyte again? Oh, that's like on cue. What song were you singing just then? To hell. I want out. Strange. Threat. On your right. You see it? Look. I'm looking. Where? See? I walk down the hallway. Whoa, well, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, that's gonna be great. Numbers. Fear. Yeah, I'm a little sketchy. Yeah. We just keep getting the MF spikes. Definitely, I feel more intelligent stuff down here than in the other rooms upstairs. Try an unprecedented double Estes session. In the mold. Prayer. Prayer, huh? Bible check. Uh oh. Cat balls going on. So we're doing a double Estes session. Out. If you hear words of exit, it does make you feel like, should I Scooby Doo the heck on out of here? Quiet. Is the morgue typically an undisturbed place? From the start. Well, Concord was the root, the beginning of the Revolutionary War. Are you saying that this Free. The Revolutionary War was for freedom. The room. That was right. Behind. Should I turn around? See. What am I looking for? Cat balls weren't going off. You know how to work the cat balls. Lights. I did. You did mess with the cat balls? Is this Charles? Three. I heard a growl. Let go. What are you doing? Hoping Cody. to talk to someone? It's happening. I can't hear you. Is that because you're back? I hear you. Wait, hold off. Am I talking to two people right now? Two. Ten. You said ten earlier upstairs. Four. Luke. Luke's in the room with me. Could you have to say Cody's in Station. Find it. What station? Different. I'll help. Two. You want three. Some three? Oh. Alright. What are you counting to? Four. Very weird. Proud. What are you proud about? Morgue. This used to be a morgue. How you're gonna do it? Did it. Dude, I feel like there's somebody walking on the floor in here. Connect. Goodbye. Whoever we were talking to, leaving the room. Hold it. Yeah, stop. <sighs> Got like a headache really bad. How's Cody doing? He just popped out for a little He said morgue. It was a morgue. Who are we talking to right now that knew this place was a morgue? It's here. What is it? Child. I feel it. Is there something inhuman here? Overcome. Awful. Dude, I literally feel the floor shaking here. Still? No. Like really steps. Can you stomp around there for a second? I was over here when you just took them off and said you felt the floor shaking. Stomp around. I feel nothing. I was not doing this either. Absolutely nothing. I pulled out because I got like a bad headache. Yeah, I don't feel good in here. Nine hours of footage. 
This is our longest investigation. How do you feel? <laughs> Full moon. Why? Oh, your ass? <laughs> <laughs> just, just actually did that. All right, guys, we're wrapping up here at the Concord Colonial Inn. What a night. All in all, I'd say it's a pretty good night. Yeah, shit was pretty crazy. We caught the craziest nest session I think we've ever had. I was under for it, but we'll see if it was sick. Pretty it was sick. I can vouch. I think a lot of the stuff here is residual, but there was a good amount of intelligent interaction with our devices. Time to go over the evidence. We're going to go drive home. We'll catch you guys next time.